I ran across the most disturbing thing on Twitter when I uh, mm. checked Saluthi's account. And I feel like we have to talk about it. I, I had never heard of this at all, which I love that Saluthi, uh, you know, shout out to her. I love that she's making a lot of this stuff public. Like she's going out of her way to obtain it, to make it public, because in Delphi, they really don't like transparency. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and just to at say... At least I- Judge Gold. Yeah, and just to say on top of that, you know, we were going to try and cover, we did a test run on the Delphi case to see if, you know, it's even feasible to get these documents and have them posted quick. And and, uh, that case is moving so fast with so many documents coming out and so much information dropping, it just didn't... You have to call every single day. Every single day, every single time. So uh, we just didn't have the ability to continue that and keep that up, but uh, it's literally as quick as they're coming out sleuthy and bob mata from the defense diaries they are on it they are covering this case as a primary case which is a little bit different than what we do um and uh they are phenomenal at it so if you're curious about delphi make sure you check them out too yes absolutely because they're giving those real-time updates yes yeah Okay, so so this is what we're looking at here. Um, this was posted by Sleuthy, and she said, "Here, here's the letter written by inmate Baston that has been sealed by the court since its arrival to the clerk. Um, the envelope here has, where's the date? Um... I don't see a date, actually. Maybe he dated... I saw a date somewhere initially. Maybe he dated his letter at the letterhead. Uh, Okay, I'm wrong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There I saw it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I knew I wasn't tripping. Okay. July 5th, 2023 is when this was processed by the clerk. Okay, July 25th, 2023. No, July 5th, July 5th, 2023. Okay. So within this, he says uh, Robert P. Baston was an inmate at Westville's Restrictive Housing Unit. Um, He received a subpoena for a case number, and this case number is 08CO122. 10 zero, MR 0000001. Zero, 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 that is Richard M. Allen's case number. Okay. In Indiana. Um, so, yeah, he was subpoenaed to testify on this case. He does not say what he was subpoenaed for. Like, he doesn't give any of those details. But from what he is saying in this letter, I assume it has to do with the correctional facility because he claims in this that he was a voice against the abuse Richard Allen was receiving from corrupt sergeants, officers, administrative staff, and mental health professionals. Yeah, yeah. He was supposed to come to the court. That was the one that was supposed to show up in person and give a statement in court Mm -hmm. yeah yeah but didn't yeah you you pulled something up right before this what was that yeah yeah so there's there's an additional part to this where i think what people are questioning including myself because it sounds like it could be real here the day that he was supposed to come to court um the officer or sheriff whoever was managing that i don't remember what their name is right now um we'll post it on our twitter too but um they called and said hey this guy is refusing to come out of his cell judge goal judge goal then responds and says well if he doesn't want to come to court don't make him and so the question is did this really happen did this guy bastion or whatever refused to come out of his cell or was this a decision by the corrections officers who are the ones being blamed in this situation that are saying he's refusing to come out of his cell yeah you know what i mean yeah it's it's brian wysocki okay 
I think is the officer's name from the affidavit. There's a couple of them on there, and, and we don't have time to dig into yeah. it on here. So no, no, we'll post just, it on our Twitter, um, and and you guys can check it out from there. Absolutely, and I think you should go read this inmate's letter. He alleges disgusting abuse, like them putting his um, his mattress in urine. Mm. Them slamming something like I think they he slant. I couldn't quite understand what he was getting at in that one specific part where he talks about the mattress being slammed on the ground and that he was he was like essentially uh, had those restraints on when you're in a chair, you mm-hmm. know, where you can't move at yep. all. Every every limb is secured. Mm-hmm. Um, and they broke his ankle and then took a pin and stabbed him in the arm to the bone. Wow. And then at another part, he was even taken out of his cell and out of sight of cameras and beaten up. Yeah. And he said this was due to them retaliating against him for speaking up for Richard Allen. Yeah, that is horrible, horrible, horrible stuff if it's true. Now, uh, you better believe that what's going to come into question is his past crimes, who he yeah. is, and his character. So is it possible this con- – just playing the other side of yeah. the coin yeah. here. You know, we, we try our best to be objective and unbiased and look at things from both sides. But is it possible that this could also be uh, a criminal, a convict that is like – Oh, dude, I just saw that story come out. We've heard about it. Is there a way that I can get time reduced or get out of here by, you know, fabricating and hopping on this madness train? Yeah, I think there is a personal gain. There's a possibility there. The only thing that just from face value, reading the letter that gives it a little bit more validity for me is he cites multiple case numbers with agencies that he's Mm. reached out to, um, to get it taken care of. He's reported these people. Mm. So, I mean... Yeah. I mean, evidence proves all. So I'm hoping that the evidence will come out to let us know if this is really going on or not. Because, gosh, dude, like, you know, our, our prison system... They're supposed to go in there and learn how to be rehabilitated to be able to come out and be in general society again. And with officers that have the possibility and potential of doing these things that they're claiming by, like, you know, shocking Richard Allen, forcing a confession, stabbing this guy, uh, breaking his ankle when, when he wasn't being combative, things like that. That is awful. That is trauma. That is going to cause people to never be able to change. Yeah, absolutely. It's a scary idea that literally I hope isn't true. Just for the sake of not having to think that this is a reality in our U.S. I mean, I've seen other prison accounts that aren't so good so I, I think it's a possibility, unfortunately. And from oh, what, yeah, it's a possibility. What, what we what we so deduced so. from the documents uh, and the dates of Richard Allen's arrest, his um, those police officers that were wearing the Odin patches, the day they started working there, and then when they got m- promoted Real within convenient. two promoted within two months of working there to like a manager of, or supervisor of some sorts and then are overseeing Richard Allen, one of the most high, the highest profile defendant in their prison, which he's not convicted, so he shouldn't be in prison. Um, yeah. he, he takes a rapid mental decline almost immediately. As soon as those supervisors who had only been working there two months and were promoted to that start overseeing him. You, you know what's like, interesting? That can't be a coincidence. You know what's interesting? is most jails, okay, most jails are managed by the sheriff. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I wonder if they're, I wonder if the Indiana sheriffs are not infiltrated by this group of people, but the corrections department is. That's why they got to move to corrections and not left in county jail. Well, Odinism is in prisons heavily from what yeah. we've seen. There's been a lot For of recru- sure. recruitment in prisons. Yeah, yeah. No, absolute, absolutely. And not even just the Odinism. It's more centered around like specific gangs and things like that. But there's a very big difference between... Um, convicts being a part of that that gang culture and gang relation and association and the 
security guards. Yep. Like, big difference. Well, he also alleges that they're, these uh, officers were also drug trafficking and bringing in well, contraband. If this and, is real, for sure. And all kinds of other stuff. So it, That happens everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, if they're in bed with the gangs there, or they're a plant by the gangs, and they're being told to do this, I mean, if, if this turns out to be true, everything that he's saying... Um, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, it's a scary thing it's to look disgusting. at. It's disgusting. It's absolutely. I, I get that some of the worst of the worst are in prisons, but there's also innocent people, and there's also people who did something bad that are doing their time and are going to be back on our streets. Do you really want to break them down and treat them so in inhuman, like an animal, to the point when they come out here and are back on our streets, they don't know how to act, behave, be a good citizen, like. Yeah, you're I just get making it. more, more criminals or worse criminals. More you know? issues, more yeah. issues. It's just it's not okay. So, I thought this was a really interesting find, um, and it's interesting that it's you know he wrote this. I think it said on June 25th. It was filed July 5th. So mm. it, they literally haven't allowed it released this whole time. Why do you think that is? Like, yeah. It, and the fact that this was stated and Judge Gold w and the attorneys were saying uh -huh. everything they were saying to Judge Gold about what was going on in the prison, and she still denied him the transfer? Yeah. Like, we have an inmate saying they saw it, we have defense attorneys saying they saw things. And his rapid mental health decline, and she still denied it? And the day that this was all supposed to come out, all of it, you know what day that is, right? The day they got kicked off, Baldwin and Rosie? Yep. This was supposed to come out that day. And the day she conveniently had cameras in the courtroom to scare them so that they would back off yep. the case. Yep. It just like, seems this, very coincidental. It's and very orchestrated is what it is. Like, she is either a mastermind or she is literally a puppet. Yeah, I, maybe, maybe. I, I, I want to be objective about it and look at the other side, but it, it's hard. This is one of those situations that I have a hard time looking at the other side just because there are so many coincidences here that uh, it, it, it almost feels like... A, just a super flawed idea to even try and look at the opposing side of it. Like the, like nothing's going on here. And, uh, gold just believes that, that these guys are making this stuff up to gain some kind of personal something from it, whether getting out of jail, getting their client off or whatever. And, uh, that's why she's hiding it to save face for, you know what I mean? It's just, it's hard to make those connections to say, all these people that don't know each other are are giving statements and stories that cor correspond with each other. Yeah. Or correlate with each other. Right. Yeah. Like we have multiple people who have nothing to do with each other yeah. saying the same thing. Yeah. And then the correction officer saying, "Yes, I do wear patches." Like what? Yeah. It's crazy. And then you look at the dates. Like it just it's too much. Wild. It's too much for me. I, I feel like it's orchestrated. I I just feel it. And I don't know what the end goal is for that, but I that's just my gut it's feeling. It's scary seeing all these really powerful people in positions where it, it feels like they're helping some kind of organized crime. Yep, it's, it is. It's scary. But we want to know what you think about this. Definitely go check it out. We're going to, you know, repost it to Twitter. Um, I might post it in Discord, too, in the Investigations tab, just so that it's, like, somewhere everybody can go back and see and it doesn't get lost in a feed or anything. Um, but, yeah, I want, to, I want to know, what's your theory on this? Like, what do you think is going on here? This Delphi case is insane, man. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know.